Hey guys, a lovely good morning to everyone and very warm full welcome in my channel, The Learning Destinations. I am your host, Abhinas. Guys, today I am going to conduct a very useful session and the session is how you can configure the Grafana inside the AWS Cloud and SSO authentications. Guys, as we know that AWS provides Grafana as a service and it is fully managed service inside the AWS Cloud. Likewise, we can install Grafana is open source as we know that and we can install it on our VMs as well. But under the AWS Cloud, it is available as a service as well. So today in this series, I'm going to show you that how you can install the Grafana inside the AWS Cloud and along with how you can enable the SSO authentications for the Grafana. Guys, one more request. If you haven't yet subscribed my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. Hey guys, so now I'm going to conduct the practical sessions and I'm under the AWS cloud. You can see that and uh, before. So this is the AWS Grafana services as you can see on my screen, right? Uh, but before I before I create the AWS Grafana, before that I need to set up the SSO authentications. Okay, why SSO? Because if you do not use the SSO and uh, when you uh, try to access your Grafana web URL, you can directly log in over there. That I do not want, right? So I want that it must be authenticated by some services, and that's the reason that I am going to set up the AWS SSO. Okay. So uh, there is a facility in AWS and you are going to learn also that uh, how to set up the single sign on in AWS and uh, it is uh, I'm going to conduct it together the Grafana and SSO. So there is services in AWS single sign on. You need to go to the users and you need to create the add user. So you can see that I, I have already enabled one of the users that later on I am going to use it inside the Grafana. Uh, while logging into the Grafana dashboard. Okay, so just now I'm going to show you that how you can do that. So let's suppose that you are going to uh, give some username, right? And uh, then there is the options, right? You need to verify it. So there is the option send an email to the user with password set of instructions. Okay, so I'm going to use one of the email ID. Let me share it. So the authentications mail to verify email, it will be sending on this particular email ID. Okay, then I'm giving the name, let's suppose that the username I have kept DevOps and the first name I am keeping, let's say Avinash. And last name I am keeping as a Matho. Uh, let me change it. Otherwise, John Walton, I'm giving the name. Otherwise, since the user is already exists, so uh, there may be error. So that's why. And next, no need to create the user uh, group. Simply say add users. Okay. So now I have created this user, but uh, before that, I as I already told you, as I have mentioned over there the email ID, so I should receive the email, right? So let me. Such so you can see that I have received the single sign on verification email from the AWS. So I need to click here. I need to say accept invitations and now it will take me to uh, reset my password. Okay, so I'm going to reset my password. Okay, so it is saying no, it won't take because that was the weaker password. Set new password. Okay. So guys, SSO part is already done here. So I have successfully created the user John Walton and I have reset the password. Okay, and now I can log in inside that using that. So let me log in here. The username which I have given, I guess, uh, DevOps, right? So let me put here DevOps. Next, if I put here, the password I can simply log in inside the AWS SSO. Okay, the same user account I am going to use while authenticating with the uh, Grafana service. So, as of now, I am just taking logout. So, SSO part is done. Now, let's move towards the AWS Grafana part. Okay, guys, so now I am going to conduct the part of AWS Grafana. So, you can easily reach to the Grafana services. You have to just type here Grafana, 
right? And in such a way, you can land on this particular page. After that, you need to create the workspace. And workspace, I'm going to give the name. Uh, let's suppose that my workspace. Okay? Or I can say better name DevOps Grafana. And same, I'm going to give the name under the description sections. It is not necessary. Guys, if you remember that, as I mentioned that before creating the uh, Grafana, you need to create the SSO authentications, right? So basically, while creating the Grafana, you need to choose one of the options, right? One of the uh, authentications method. And that is the reason that before creating the Grafana, dashboard right i have uh, created the sso authentication so there are two kind of options available here and you can go any one of those right so i'm going to select aws single sign on and uh, service manage is okay then after that these are the data source provided by the aws grafana so i'm going to select each and every one and i say notification channel name also i'm going to select as a data source then i say next and then create workspace. So as of now, you can see that the status is created and it's going to be uh, take uh, some around uh, two minutes, three minutes time. So I'm going to pause this video and once the status is active, I will return back. Okay guys, so now our DevOps Grafana dashboard, the workspace has been successfully created and you can see here the message workspace devops grafana successfully created and simultaneously you can see the status is also active okay so now it's time to access the dashboard and as you can see that the grafana workspace url is already given by using it we can simply access the grafana dashboard as well okay so let me quickly uh, click on it and here you can see that welcome to amazon managed grafana and sign in with aws sso why it is coming because uh, while creating the workspace we have selected the authentications matter aws sso right and we are going to use one of these user account in order to log in inside that okay so let me go here let me click on that reload the page actually my network is not that much strong as of now it's there is a problem intermittently so now i'm going to put the name devops right this is the user which i have selected here and say next and i'm going to mention my password Access denied, sign it with, okay. So guys, one more thing here, I need to make this as a admin, okay? This user, which I forgot to tell you, uh, let me go there. So to make this user, uh, this one, to make this user as a admin, we need to return on the graph now, right? And once we come on the graph now, so this is our workspace which we have created, we need to click here. And after that, you can see here, AWS single sign on SSO, assign new user, right? So I need to assign the user. So I'm going to assign both the users here. And now if I log in with any one of account, it is successfully able to log in inside the graph now. So let's try once again. So you can see that I have successfully logged in now inside the Grafana dashboard, okay? But if you see that many of the options is not available, why? Because this user has not been granted, this particular user has not been granted as a admin. So we can make any one of user as a admin. So here you can see that make admin, right? Option, so I say make admin. Now you can see that this user has the permissions of admin. Okay, so let me log out and re-log in it again. So now you can see that you can simply, uh, you can simply feel the option which I was getting before making it admin, right? And now after making 
admin right so there are many more options now we are getting right so this is the difference between uh, when you log in as a viewer or when you log in as a admin account right so now you can add various data source here right so if you see my previous sections right previously i have enabled the cloud watch and i have enabled uh, like uh, the x-ray as well right so here you can see everything right now you can select the reasons and you can uh, see all the metrics so let's suppose that you want to add data source as a cloud watch so you can simply select the regions and uh, you can simply see all the metrics here right guys one more thing if you want to understand how to add the data source the cloud watch inside the grafana then yesterday i have covered this topic you can go to the playlist monitoring tool and where you can simply find out how to add cloud watch as a data source inside the aws cloud right so you can go to my that particular tutorial and you will have idea that how you can add this cloud watch as a data source inside the grafana so guys that's all for the day this is what i wanted to show you so i believe your concept is pretty much clear now and definitely you want to play with that so just go ahead try to create some grafana dashboard various dashboard inside that try to set up sso account share the url with your friends so they can also you know uh, they can also get to know about it so i will see you in my next tutorial and if you have any questions then just please write me in the comment sections Hey guys, so now I believe you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you really like it, then please help me by subscribing my channel and press the bell icon as well. And please don't forget to share it with your friends and the colleagues. I will see you in my next tutorial. Till the time, thank you so much for watching it. Stay safe, stay healthy. You have a very good day.